Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Uh, in this video I'm just going to go over how Gaia works and how her passive works with relation to the stacks that she builds up. So just have a look here. As you can see um, we applied five stacks of Corrode uh, to, the, uh, to each enemy and now we have 25 stacks of this Genesis Glow. What will happen um, is over the course of the battle uh, those stacks will build up. So we'll see in just a minute when Dullahan attacks, um, it should go up to 36. So the Corrode stacks wear off, um, and then Dullahan will then go ahead and reapply uh, the stacks of Corrode. So if we look again, we're up to 36, even though enemies only have uh, up to 10 stacks each. Uh, that's the stack limit. Been over that in a previous video. Um, but again, what will happen so as you can see, we go up to 45 stacks now, um, 45 stacks of this Genesis Glow, and that is because uh, Katrine, uh, sorry, Catherine has applied those stacks of Corrode. We can now no longer apply any further stacks of Corrode, uh, I believe. So even if we do our big attacks, uh, where we try to uh, apply those stacks of Corrode, uh, we won't be able to. Um, it's just because there's a stack limit, and I think that that's where there's a problem uh, with this particular um, with this particular unit. I think that's the major issue for her, uh, is that corrode stack limit. If there was a unit which removed the corrode stack limit and you can apply unlimited amounts of corrode, um, then yeah, absolutely, she's going to be super top tier, S tier uh, unit. But the fact that um, you've got this 50, 55 currently stacks of uh, Genesis Glow, it does uh, dramatically increase uh, the damage output of your team, but also dramatically increases the damage output uh, of Gaia as well. So Gaia will now start to, once we get over uh, the 70 marks, as you can see, we do apply uh, even more stacks here. Uh, and she's going to do massive damage. Yeah, uh, much, much more damage than the rest of her team is. Uh, she does get the double ult as well, which will apply even further stacks as well. So as you can see, up to 73. With uh, Catherine um, attacking as well, uh, that does go up even further. Unfortunately, it's just a bad run this time. Um, but yeah, that's just an explanation on how it works. Uh, currently, there is just no way, um, besides uh, seasonal PvE content, there is no way of activating that invincibility for her. Even if we get this up to 100 stacks here, um, she won't activate the invincibility. It must be um, 100 active stacks of Corrode. It can't be 100 stacks applied, which is what her first passive is. It's the uh, number of stacks applied. So again, uh, we see this go up to 87, uh, I believe it is. And then we'll see it go up, um, or we would have seen it go up again. But she continually builds up. So she, for me, she is a DPS unit, but she's a, a slow burn DPS unit, if that makes sense. Takes time for uh, her and her team to build up, uh, which is why I think, for me personally, uh, the Monarch's team uh, is definitely the best. I've tried other variations of it. I've tried it with Lancelot and Bastet on the team. Uh, I've tried it with uh, a Striker's build uh, as well, but the most consistent for me um, is having uh, Catherine on the team uh, to increase damage even further, uh, to have Astrid on the team uh, and to have Talos and Dullahan in that front two slot along with Gaia in one of the back slots as well. Uh, so uh, that's just it for me. It's just a very quick one uh, on Gaia and how she works uh, and just in case to clarify any or to, to remove any confusion. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I do hope you have a fantastic day and uh, yeah, let me know how it goes for you. 